When I was a kid, I thought the funniest person in the whole world was my big brother Jack. He was so funny and original. I used to laugh till I cried when he did a routine of his he called Guzzler's Gin. Then he had a character, Clem Cadiddlehopper, and another one called The Mean Widow Kid. He was really funny. Then one day we got a TV set and I saw Red Skelton. Stole all my brother's material. But you know what? He did it better. Here he is, the king of the clowns, my big brother Jack. I mean Red Skelton. Thank you very much, and it's really an honor to be here with the industry when it uh, thanks its lucky stars. And uh, if any of you feel that though you've been forgotten, just remember Whistler's father. <laughs> it's nice to be asked, here everyone backstage saying, gee, you look good. <laughs> That's one of the three ages of man. Youth, middle age, and gee, you look good. <laughs> <laughs> They have asked me to uh, present the sound awards, and I think that's appropriate for a man who does pantomime. <laughs> but in the early days of the motion pictures, when sound first came in, it was on the um, uh, uh, Vitagraph, and it was on disc. And not always did the, uh, give me my hat, will you? <laughs> the, uh, boy, it's the first time I've ever worked with a net. The, um, that was on a disc, and always, not always, did the sound uh, match the film and the actions. I remember one picture that I saw this cowboy. He rides up, and he speaks to an Indian maiden. <laughs> Howdy, I'm back. I want you to know that I love you, and we're going to get married. I don't care what people say. I know there's a lot of people that don't believe in mixed marriages, but we'll make it work. And maybe when our kids come along, we can start a whole new race of people. And I brought you a gift. But when it came on the screen on the desk, it didn't exactly match the action. It was more of something like this. Hi, dear, I'm back. <laughs> and I don't care what people say, we're going to get married. I know a lot of people don't believe in mixed marriages, but maybe when our kids come along, we can start a whole new race of people. A lot of progress has been made with sound, but still there are the people, even tonight, possibly when the winners come up, as much as they know about this, they'll all walk up and do the same thing. I want to thank you for tonight. I always get a kick out of people when they, when they talk on the microphones. You ever notice the first fellow when he makes a speech on, in a big convention of anything, the first fellow always have trouble with the microphones. These guys, mm. we ready to start? Is this on? Can you folks hear all right out there? <laughs> Testing, one, two. <laughs> Little wet, but it's on. <clears throat> At this time, we would like you to meet. Is this on? <laughs> Could you turn it up a little? I don't think it's loud enough. Could you turn it up just a little bit? Hold it! Well, that's a horrible way to go through life, isn't it? <laughs> Did you ever see these fellows who have trouble with the microphones when they go dead on them? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we'd like for you to meet a very lovely lady. 
Helene Kraus. And tonight, What's the matter with the damn thing? We could... <laughs> We'd like... <laughs> Why don't they shove it in an ash can? <laughs> then you always have people who forget what they're going to say and they become very nervous. <clears throat> they... <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I got a frog in my throat. <laughs> then you have the experts that know how to use their voice and control it. They know when to talk loud and when to get dramatic and how far to stay away from the microphones. And now, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we'd like to meet a fellow who's been in your community for a good many years. This man is honest. This man is sincere. This man... Oh, well, that gives you an idea of what I was trying to talk about anyhow. <laughs> For the um, accomplishments achieved in sound, Oh, by the way, I don't need these glasses. But I've reached the age where curiosity is uh, greater than vanity. <laughs> For all the president's men, Arthur Pianodossi, Les Freshhold, Dick Alexandra, and Jim Webb. For King Kong, Harry Warren Tetrick, William McCoy, Aaron Rochin, and Jack Solomon. Rocky, Harry Warren Tetrick, William McCoy. This guy's work all the time. You notice I laugh myself sometimes to keep them getting lonesome. You know that? <laughs> um, Lyle Burbridge and Bud Alper. <laughs> For Silver Street, Donald Mitchell, Douglas Williams, Richard Tyler, and Hal Effington. <laughs> For A Star Is Born, Robert Knudsen, or Knudsen. <laughs> Dan Wallen, Robert Grass, and Tom Overton. <laughs> and the winter, farewell to arms. All of the President's men. I have a long 
What no? did I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I have a long list of people to thank, but I'll save it, give it to you later. For now, thank you, Walter Koblenz. Thank you, Alan Pakula. Thank you, Robert Redford. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I can't say enough. I can only say what Art has said before. Thank to everybody. It's really a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to thank uh, Kathy Burroughs, Richard Burroughs, and uh, Dave Horton for their super sound effects job. And I'd like to thank the Academy. Thank you. I want to thank the Academy and my colleagues for the job they did. Uh, Alan Bakula and uh, all the wonderful people at Wildwood. Art Levinson, who started me on the project. Robert Redford. And last but not least, my sound partner, Chris McLaughlin, who I, with whom I truly share this award. Thank you. Thank you.